What's going on guys, it's your boy Shivan here back with a new video and today we're going to talk about everything in iOS 15 and basically the most important things that you guys should know about iOS 15. It's not yet out for the public but Apple just unveiled it, they made changes to FaceTime, new FaceTime support, special audio, all that good stuff. So yeah, in this video we're just going to run through all of that so I get you guys up to date. <laughs> Okay, so FaceTime got the biggest improvement updates, guys. And the first thing is, in FaceTime, Apple wants it to make it more natural. That's what they're saying. They're, so FaceTime calls will now support spatial audio to make the sound like you're sitting in the same room with you. They also added voice isolation, which uses machine learning to block out ambient noise in the back. So if anyone's in the back making a lot of noise, it would just focus on your voice. FaceTime is also getting a good view support to make group video calls easier and also you can see multiple viewers at once which is really nice. We're also getting a portrait mode as well which will blur out the background. So we can also surprisingly schedule FaceTime calls almost like Zoom so you can use FaceTime links which you can share with your friends and family ahead of time so whenever you have a meeting or anything everybody got that on their calendar to just jump into the FaceTime call. Apple is also allowing Android and Windows users to join those FaceTime calls using the web browser which is something I never would have expected. So as you guys saw from my leaks video, iOS 15 also brings SharePlay, just like I was saying with Discord. So you have SharePlay on FaceTime. So this allows you to listen to the same music while on FaceTime call at the same time. You could use the SharePlay API as well, which would introduce other apps like Disney, Twitch, Netflix. So basically you're watching a show, you could just share play and then you guys could watch the show on FaceTime together. Or even if you're just playing a game, you could share play your game and you know, interact in FaceTime. It's kind of cool and it's a good starting or stepping stone for FaceTime in my opinion. So Apple was really big on sharing and they really made sharing easier in messages as well. So the updated messages app in iOS 15 now has a new design, very clean design for group photos. So any link shared with you in that app will also show up in the shared with you section of Apple News. Another thing that Apple really changed was notifications. It kind of looks confusing at first, but Apple is redesigning the whole notification system in iOS 15 with contact photos and icons now visible. It's kind of bigger in the notifications. It's also adding a notification summary that would give you a summary of all your on-read notification. Impressively though, if you have do not disturb enabled, the other party sending you a message like your friend will inform you that, hey, Yo, Siobhan has Do Not Disturb and it will send a message quietly. iOS 15 also brings this new feature called Focus Profiles. So basically, you could set different profiles for app notifications and home screen layouts. For example, you could set the work apps from whom you want the notification alerts when you're at work. You could also set different home screen layouts for each profile, which is really smart. So any Focus Profile you set will also be synced across all your devices. Now my favorite feature so far has to be live text. So iOS 15 brings live text that lets you easily extract any text from any photo and it works across any like it's crazy. It's almost like Google Lens but for iOS. So basically how this works is that if you ever took a picture on your phone and there was some text in the background, you can easily just zoom in, copy and paste the text and you know put it anywhere you want. Another thing is if you took a picture and there was like a phone number on like a, a restaurant or something like that, you could just tap the number and call it right from there instead of usually you just have to take up your phone, you're looking at the picture, you're writing off the number. So yeah, that's really smart from Apple, I like that. So in short, basically any picture you take that has text in the background or anything, you could literally select the text, extract it and share it anywhere. Really nice. Another thing I really liked was the wallet improvements. So Apple is improvement on the wallet app in iOS 15. So you remember those like car key stuff that you had? So Apple had their Apple Apple keys. I don't remember the name of it, but basically you could just walk up to your BMW, tap it and you'll get in. So BMW car keys will now show up in the wallet app. Yeah, that's really cool. So similarly, you'll be able to add corporate badges, hotel room cards, and more stuff directly to the Apple Wallet app. Apple is also bringing an identity card, meaning that you could add your driver's license, your wallet, and use it as like a digital ID. And obviously it's not here in Canada, but it will be available in select US states at first. Another big update was the weather app. So the weather app was fully redesigned. The weather app looks way more intuitive and it has new animations, new animated background and graphics. The app also includes a full screen weather app to show air quality, precipitation. It could be a legit forecaster using this app. 
So Apple also upgraded the Apple Maps app. So basically you could have this 3D animation that show you directions where you're going through and all of that. But for now, it's only in select states in America. So like New York, Los Angeles, you know, the big popular um, cities. So yeah, yeah, Apple Maps was kind of cool, but I still think I'll use my Google Maps since it's just way better in my country. And last but not least in iOS 15, Apple says Siri now works offline. So Apple is improving Siri on iPadOS 15 by adding a ML based voice recognition for improved privacy. So this means that Siri could now work offline and the processing is still faster as well. I can't wait to test all this new stuff. So make sure you guys stick around to figure out when I have iOS 15 beta running on my iPhone 12.